to go look at a car. Stick around. Hopefully we'll buy it. Okay guys, so like I said, we're going to go look at a car. Um, it's about an hour from the house, but we've got to stop at a bank first and get cash. Because a stupid bank puts a cap on the debit card. Right? Yep. I hate that, man. They put a cap on it, so even though you've got money in there, you can only get, you can only use the debit card for so much. So, we got to stop at the bank down by where this little dealership is. He's, he said he's just a small dealership, so um, he's not going to tack on any dealer fees or anything. So he's already dropped off what six hundred dollars? Yeah. Off of the vehicle. It's a 2010 Chevy Traverse. That's what you said. Yeah, Traverse. It's like an Equinox. So we're gonna go check it out. It seems to be okay. It's got kind of low miles for being an 11 year old car. It's, it's got 109,000 on it. So we're gonna go check it out, and test drive it, and then uh, hopefully, then if she wants it, we'll just we'll just buy it. But we're gonna have to have this truck towed home because you know I've got health conditions that do not permit me to drive anymore. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. So we're on these back roads heading down there. Uh, it's late in the afternoon because we had to get two tires put on the front of this thing. So 344. Now he closes the five, but he said he knows we're coming. He'll stick around, and he knows we're coming. So hopefully we can get there before five. I hate to make a guy wait on us, especially if I find something wrong with it and I pass on it, you know. Yeah. But hopefully it'll be all right. I mean, that's not really high miles for 2010, so. No. So anyway, guys, I'll kick you back on here in a minute. Hang tight. Okay, guys, we're sitting, we're sitting at a gas station, so Monkey's pretty happy. I'm kind of happy, too, because check this out. That's right, bad bow tie. She's got to get her mask. I'll give you a, a quick tour, and I'll be talk more about it later but just an idea of what we got here there's monkey's new ride two thousand ten traverse LT see that all wheel drive baby cool So, and it has the V6, I think it's 255 horsepower, V6, all wheel drive, uh, six speed automatic, I do believe. So yeah, it's pretty cool. So yeah, I'll tell you what we, what we got this for, and it's the best deal we could find, and it was just a small little lot. He's got maybe eight or nine cars there, but uh, he wanted, what the hell was it? 8,500, and he said he'd take 79. So we got it for 7,900. That's before tax. So um, tax, title, and tag came to be 85.95 and I was looking at these things and everywhere I looked that had around a hundred thousand miles with the v6 and four-wheel drive they were around nine and ten thousand dollars and the ones that I could find around 8500 9000 they had 135 to 140 thousand miles on it this is a one owner car. We got the Carfax and the maintenance records on it. So whoever owned this, it's actually an Arizona car is where it was originally bought brand new in 2010. So yeah, it's awesome. 
So, so far she likes it. And we're on about a 45 minute trip home. And I'll get back with you here in just a minute. So anyway, we want to share that with you. I know it's not brand new, but we just couldn't afford how the only, like the Toyota 4Runners and stuff that we could afford was 200,000 miles and over. So I'm like, well, and she said, well, what about those Chevys? What do they got? That's what the Equinoxes is and the Traverses, and which is the same body style. Like if you got a Buick, um, it's got the same, the same frame and stuff. So, but anyway, Monkey's here. She just went in to pay for gas. So, <laughs> she can't open the tank. <laughs> I don't know, honey. All right. I gotta find. The, yeah. I gotta find the thing. Hang. hang Is that it? Hang no, tight. that's a window. It's window lock. All right. Um. That's lumbar or something. Well, I don't know. All right. Let me find the tank thing for her. Okay. So we were looking everywhere. Show a monkey. You push in and out. Yay! <laughs> Monkey didn't figure it out, by the way. I did, so. Regular? Huh? What do you want? Regular. For now. Alright. So, huh? Yeah, because we're only put It's got a quarter of a tank of gas in it, so we're going to go ahead and just put $10 in it to get it to our house. And, uh. Alright. I'll be back with you guys. She's waited a long time for this. We did not get rid of the truck. We still have the truck. The truck is back there. We're going to have it towed home tomorrow. So, uh, we are, <laughs> we are keeping the truck. He was interested in it, but we're keeping the truck. So, I'll be back with you. Yeah, while you're driving down the road, you're going to put makeup on. No. I don't wear makeup. So, what do you think? I like it. Yeah? I like it a lot. Yeah, I'll show you guys more tomorrow, like, yeah. of the motor and stuff. But a lot of lights, huh? Yeah. I think I'm going to change that stereo out. <laughs> yeah. If you're going to, then we should just get one that has a backup camera in it. Well, yeah. Yeah. But um, the rear speakers don't seem to be working, so. Yeah. I don't know what's going on there, but. Yeah, I think I'll just change that out to a seven inch touch screen. That okay. stereo. Yeah. Yeah, Bluetooth and all that crap. Backup camera. Is it hard to take this out? No. No? No. But I guess Monkey, she says it's all right. Yeah, it's all right. Is this all right? No, I love it. It's pretty nice. Got a little pocket up here and put, hide all of my stuff in there. <laughs> so yeah, tomorrow, this is the video of what we did. Yeah. I know it's not a brand new car, but it's pretty much just got everything new any other me. car has. Yeah, cruise control and all that. Uh, steering wheel controls for the stereo, blah, blah, blah. Yep. Automatic lights. So you can turn them off or you can turn them on manually. Or you have the auto thing. Yeah. Yeah. And that's it. And It'll what's this out. button? Dome off. Yeah, it sets a timer for your dome lights to go out and your headlights to go out. Oh, when you leave. Yeah. Yeah. So like, if you got to get in your door, yeah. they'll stay on for so long, so many seconds. Yeah. So, yeah, it's not fully fully loaded, but it's loaded good enough. What's this? This is the rest your foot on. Yeah, that's a foot rest. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the simple things in life. But, yeah, I mean, you know, you, these headlights, I don't know if you can see it, but, you know, we'll have to eventually get these new. Uh, it is a 2010. And I stand corrected, it, it is not a 255 horsepower V6. Well, what is it? 281 to 288. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, you've nailed it a few times, haven't you? 
Yeah, I'm gonna need a fuzz buzzer. I've, I've got two. Good thing. <laughs> Doesn't do bad for 5,000 pounds, does it? No. Nice and smooth. Pretty peppy, huh? Yeah, very peppy. It's a nice and smooth. Very um, nice car. But like I said, I'll show you the engine compartment and everything tomorrow. And it needs cleaned up because the guy did drive it back and forth to the shop and uh, back home. So, yeah. Pretty nice. I don't know if that's a charcoal gray or black, but boy, in the daytime it sure looked black, but I don't know. Uh, I got to order a trailer hitch for it in the light. Talking to YouTube. Sorry. I like it. <laughs> it was nice on the highway. We took the highway home, too. Yeah. So that was nice. Like I used my cruise control. control. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> I messed my cruise control. Yeah. Yeah, I really did. Because you had it in the convertible. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. We, uh, we got it. Yep. So, anyway, that's what we did. Just uh, went and got the car. So, she deserves it. Like I said, it's not a brand new car, but it's new to her and she deserves it. So, we put new tires on the Toyota on the front today. So, I told her that truck is now retired. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get it? Retired. Because of the two new tires, it's retired. Yeah. It's so, going to retire. Yeah, since I can't drive, we just left the truck down there and we're going to send a wrecker after it tomorrow. So yeah. They'll tell it home. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just... No. Can't drive two vehicles at once. Unfortunately. We could have left this here. No. <laughs> no? <laughs> no, she's like, we're driving the new vehicle. So, yeah. So, it's uh, 281 to 288 horsepower. It only weighs 5,000 pounds. Uh, what color are they? No. No? Nah. To me it looks black. But maybe it has gray in it from the spec. Well, it is metallic. Yeah. It's kind of hard to tell. It might be a charcoal gray. It could be. But it looks black in the daytime, so. Yeah. But right here, what I'm looking at, kind of looks like a charcoal. But either way, it looks good. Yeah. Uh, you know, it needs cleaned up and buffed out, but yeah. Plenty of room. It does have third row seating. That's nice. Yeah, so. And they all go down. This is a seven passenger. Yeah, and they all lay down flat and straight, so. Well, that's, that's pretty cool. Room. Yeah. Like I said, it ain't nothing special, but it is to her, so. Huh. Yep. She's never had a four wheel drive before, so. Not well, it's all-wheel drive, but that, you know, that's a four-wheel drive. <laughs> yeah. Full-time four-wheel drive, so. Cool. Oh. Yeah, it seemed to run pretty good and everything. Air works, heater works. Like I said, the only problem I found was the back speakers do not work, so. Yeah. I'll just fix that issue when I put your new stereo system in. Yeah. Because I think it deserves it. You deserve it. Yeah. You can get them cheap enough. And we got to order a hitch. Yeah. And the light for the trailer lights. Right. The harness. Yeah. Which should plug in up underneath here if I remember right. I put a bunch of hitches on these things. So. Body's decent. There's no dings. There's a little bit of scratches here and there. I think most of these buff out. Oh, yeah. But again, it's not new, so, and it's gonna be driven every day. This works, the washer works for this. Everything works except the back speakers, so. All right, guys, there we go. Like I said, I'll show you more in the daytime. We'll talk more about it. I'll show you in the engine compartment, because I, I know the gearheads wanna see the six cylinder, huh? Yep. All right, well. I might sleep here tonight. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Comfortable seats, huh? Yeah, nice. Leather interior, yeah. If I get cold, I turn the heater on. <laughs> oh, it's got rear heat and rear air, don't it? Mm-hmm. It's got, yeah, it's got its controls right back here. It's got three power things. There's one up front, one here, and one clear in the back to charge stuff, so. That's nice. Yeah, very, very nice. 
I mean, for 2010, it is nice. Yeah. 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 Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Well, she barely met the main ledge. I'm gone for now. Monk. Monk's a chef now. <laughs> Bye. I'll do my video tomorrow. Okay. So keep an eye out for her video. She's yeah. going to do it in the daytime. So. Yeah. All right. Bye, y'all. <laughs> Bye, guys.